Hello there. Uh, I thought I would take to the internet in order to sort of um, publicly air a grievance. Um, let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm a historian. I'm currently, currently studying for a PhD. And uh, part of that is I enjoy um, uh, medieval battle reenactments, and I'm, I'm not really ashamed to admit that. So I go to these things and I have a great time. Always keen to, uh, you know, for however, however brief an amount of time, inhabit the medieval world and live according to its ways. Anyway, several weeks ago I went to one of these events. It was a reenactment of the Battle of Hastings on a plot of land just outside of London. And um, I have to say, I didn't have a good time. Uh, I'm a man of, who appreciates authenticity, let's say, and uh, the total disregard for this element of the experience uh, was something that really uh, ground me down and has, has made, left me quite angry. Um, I've written several letters of complaint to the organisation in question and they, they haven't got back to me, so um, I thought I would maybe air some of my grievances online and that will spur them into maybe getting back and letting me know what their thoughts. Uh, it all began on the Saturday morning. I was having a pleasant enough uh, conversation about uh, imaginary cattle prices with a man pretending to be a 11th century blacksmith and calling himself Ulrich son of Rowan, which uh, was a little bit unnecessary because I later found out his real name was John, which is a perfectly acceptable medieval name. Anyway, during this conversation as it progressed, his, uh, his, his wristwatch bleeped. <laughs> now, obviously I sort of stood aghast and he, he, he didn't really seem to, 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 to notice it even and uh, excused himself for a meeting with the, with the ironmonger and walked off and I noticed he was wearing some Nike Air Max trainers. Ni even if Nike were a company that existed in the 11th century, which they aren't, that particular of Nike Air, you know, I happen to know that that particular range of Nike Air Maxes didn't come out till the late 1980s, so, uh, how, you know, you can imagine how, how, how sort of confused I was and, um, you know, to, to be honest, livid with his, his disregard for, as I say, authenticity. Anyway, later in the afternoon, I was, uh, you know, I was a little bit put out by this, and I, I was sat on a rock eating my lunch, which I prepared. It was a, a rustic-looking piece of homemade bread and, and some salted ham, some, some very appropriate, you know, uh, items of food for, 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 for pretending to be a medieval man. And as I was about to tuck in, I noticed to the left of me four knights uh, munching on packets of quavers and discussing the current form of Luis Suarez. Now, the, I, 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 my, 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 my illusion was totally shattered, totally shattered. I was livid. I couldn't believe that these, these four fellas thought they, they were so important that, you know, they could, they could disregard all sort of uh, etiquette for such an occasion. I began to look around and, you know, see if I had any sort of support. I noticed six people were wearing sunglasses. The prisoner that we caught in the morning was now instructing the guard to take his car keys and the inhaler for him. And then the other one was chugging on a Yazoo strawberry milkshake. There was a woman walking around with a bazooka, uh, not, a, not a bazooka, a super soaker for heaven's sake. For absolutely no reason. Her little kid was dressed as, from, from what I could tell, was dressed as a pirate. And kept skipping around singing Adele songs. I couldn't believe it. The whole thing, I paid decent money and travelled to get there. I also had a problem with the, there should be sort of, some sort of vetting process in who you allow to participate in these events. Some of the men are just too fat. You know, we're playing uh, the, the army of Harold Godwinson. We've, we're, we're, we're supposed to have just run down the country in a matter of days. And I'm stood next to Jim from Human Resources, whose neck reminds me of what a pelican's might look like if it skimmed its beak across an ocean of jelly. All wobbly in that. Plus, he, he, they, they chose him to play Harold Godwinson, and when he got shot in the eye, he refused to fall down because he said he, said he couldn't because he was too big and he had diabetes and all sorts of things. So he just went and plonked himself on a deck chair at the back and took out a camcorder and filmed the rest of the fight. Now, I'm not saying that the, the, the role should have been given to me, but I am saying it should have been given to someone with a little bit more respect, a little bit more reverence for the role. That's all. Anyway, the whole thing was a nightmare, as I say. People kept filming at the side with their iPhones, which is uh, incredibly annoying, and... Plus, I left my shield in there, Mike, Mike Rogers' car, and I spent quite a bit of money on it, and he's not getting back, back to me on the emails either. But anyway, that's, what, look, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I won't name the organisation, but if they don't get back to me, I, I will in my next post. Um, so, so that's all for now. Thanks very much. Bye.